Ooh. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Moving on swiftly to our next story, we're talking about <laughs> Winnie Rire and Dan Sonko. Now, I hate to even talk about this story because it's somehow been marred by so much tragedy. Eh? Dan Sonko and his wife uh, were together for a while. They had their first son together. And then, unfortunately, she passed away while giving birth to their second-born son. Oh, no. So now he was left um, a widow, a widower with, you know, two, two boys to raise. And then, fast forward, he meets Winnie Brere. And they're like, you know what? We have both been through so much. Why not do it? So they get into it together, and she describes it as a very genuine interaction. They really cared for each other. So they, they become serious. They move in together. And then two years down the line, she says that um, Dan actually went into a phase where he was dealing with a lot mentally, a, a, a few mental health issues. And she says it was the most difficult you know, stage of their relationship or their partnership because it's a very new union. You know, it's all of two years in, you're still somewhat in the honeymoon phase and then your partner is all of a sudden brand new. They're dealing with stuff. And, you know, it's, it's not easy to lose a loved one. So, you know, it's, you don't have to grieve once and then it's over. So it's a process. So anyway, he's dealing with all of these things. She doesn't know how to help. She doesn't know how to act. There's also two boys that you have to factor in into the relationship. Basically, it was really, really a lot. And then you go into the pandemic because 2018, 2020, they are now in the pandemic. Your partner is not a hundred. You have children you're taking care of. So it was really a strain on the relationship. Anyway, they walked through all of that. And then she was diagnosed with cancer. She says it started as a pain on her hand. It was swelling and she didn't, you, you wouldn't think the last thing on your mind is it's cancer. You know, you go from a lot of things. I've seen people who have been diagnosed with, with cancer. And before that, it was... Ah, it's an allergic reaction. It's maybe this, it's maybe this. You never really think it's going to be cancer. So anyway, I just think the weight of all of that. She didn't really specify what led to the breakup, but based off of what she said on the interview with Lynn Googie, you can tell it was a lot of strain on the partnership because it was pretty new and then came all this <coughs> trauma and all this baggage. So yeah, they parted ways. Um, if you don't know, Dan Sonko is an actor based in Mombasa. Winnie Bire, we know her, we've seen her in all our local films. So both of them in also the industry, the, the uh, art, they're both artists. It comes with a lot. And then you're thrown into COVID, there are no jobs, there are no gigs. It really is a lot of strain on a partnership. So they didn't really specify, but they did say that they parted ways. <clears throat> to be entirely honest, I think uh, it's very difficult for anyone who's mourning to get over a loss. True. It takes many, many years. And especially in a case where both of them are mourning and then one person is kind of putting their mourning period on hold to take care of you. At some point, it starts to build resentment. And of course, the fact that, okay, fine, I just lost my wife and this other one is about to get in a really bad situation which may lead to them actually leaving as well it can be very very tricky to find a balance with that and so you may opt to just take a sabbatical and you know help them as a friend but from a distance mm -hmm. i completely understand it because imagine losing two different people as yeah. in two different partners mm -hmm. and i'm not i'm not saying she's she's gone I'm just saying, it's she's the fully thought, recovered. You know, yeah. it's the thought of that dreadful thing that could happen because it happens a lot. Um, so I can only imagine how painful that must have been. Mm -hmm. And also, they also had children, and COVID was tough. Let me tell you, there were two kinds of couples during and post COVID. There were the couples who got together oh. and they never left. That was me. And, right. and then there was the couples who just got together, broke up completely because who of got COVID. got to know each other properly. Who, you know, you, you <laughs> start sniffing him, and all you, you can smell is just distaste. For that person, it mm. can be very, very daunting. And it was a really troubling time for a lot of people. A lot of people broke up during and post-COVID. So I can only imagine how much that stress is. You have your children with you the whole... Oh my God, it's a lot. It's, it's a plateful. So either way, we are happy she's okay. And we're sad that they broke up. But in some cases, it's better that way. Mm. Because 
she deserves a lot better. She deserves an attentive partner, regardless of what they're going through. She deserves an attentive partner, and he deserves an attentive partner. So maybe it's for the best. These things do happen, mm. and we're sad, but you know, it is what it is. It's mm. part of life. True.